Standard 6th Subject Computer Today we are going to learn Lesson number 9 More about Formulas Part 2 Now students we learn Function Library Great place to explore functions is in the Function Library on the Formulas tab. Here you can search and select Excel functions based on categories such as financial, logical, text and date and time. Function library is a collection of different functions available in formula tab. To invoke function library, first click insert function, second select the category and the function you want to use. Click on OK button. Fill the arguments in the argument boxes and then click OK button. Example, here we can use the date function from date and time category for showing the date. Generating a series. Excel recognizes many series from a single cell such as the days of the week okay but you must define two adjacent cells for a series of numbers generating a number series there is an easy way of generating a number series automatically instead of typing the numbers for each cell follow the steps given below first Type the first two numbers of the series in two adjacent cells. Means here you have to type two numbers in two cells. One and two. Okay. Second, select both the cells. Now, now student remember. For number series, you have to select both the cells. One and two. Okay. Third, move the cursor to the right hand bottom side of the cell. Fourth, you will get a thin plus mark. Okay. Fifth, click on the plus mark and drag it to the required cell numbers. Means how many numbers you want? 10, 20, 30. Okay. And six, the numbers will be generated serially. Using the number series tabs, Names of the days and names of the months can also be generated. Instead of numbers, type name of the month or day of the week and then press enter key. Now select the cell where you have typed the name. Move the cursor to the bottom right side of the cell. The cursor turns to plus sign. Click and drag the mouse in any direction till the required cell number seen and then release it. The selected cell range fills with the names of days or month. Now student remember for number you have to select two cells but for days of the week and for month you have to select only single cell. Okay. Thank you.